the first of the two to be a mass murderer. His terrors killed millions. He once compared his victims with the Boyar landowners massacred by Ivan the Terrible 400 years before. Who's going to remember all this riffraff in 10 or 20 years' time? No one. Who remembers the names now of the boyars Ivan the Terrible got rid of? No one. A week before he invaded Poland, Hitler made an eerily similar remark to his generals. Genghis Khan had millions of men and women killed by his own will and with a gay heart. History sees him only as a great state builder. And who, after all, speaks today of the annihilation of the Armenians? For both men, mass murder was just another weapon in the ideological struggle. The state, 